Hello YouTube, I'm kind of thrilled to present the integration of Hoxel in RevSales.com which is a website you can visit and uh, use this awesome reverse cell generator. You just pass your IP and port here and it will, based on these predefined templates, it will just generate payloads for you, ready to execute. I think this reverse uh, section is the most common payloads we all use and love. PHP, uh, PowerShell, Python, Ruby, you can choose operating system from here. Uh, we also have bind cells. We have MSF Venom predefined commands to generate various payloads here, which is uh, really, really useful and quick to do. You can choose also the listener type you have set. For example, if I use here the MSF console listener, you, you can get an one liner for running the multi handler from Metasploit and grab this equivalent cell. You can see that it will adjust with every payload that I choose. And here's the new part, it's a Hoxel which was added like one day ago and uh, the project, this is the original repository, you can go and read about it, it's kind of, uh, it has been around for like seven months, maybe you already have seen it around and uh, it's something like a Windows uh, sudo reverse cell that utilizes, abuses let's say the HTTP, HTTP protocol to establish a beacon like reverse cell. And uh, I'm gonna get more into this later because I think it's uh, fun to see what is happening here. But uh, let's just see how it works first. You can see it's the first uh, message here in the repository that uh, the newest version of this project is the Hoxel standalone listener. Um, this project at the beginning is in its original form. It had also this uh, payload generation capability, but I kind of split this, I mean the listener and the payload generator, because uh, I think it's much easier to generate new templates. And here I just went to this readme file in this subfolder RevCells, which means RevCells.com uh, is just the listener. This is uh, a new and improved uh, listener for Hoxel kind of payloads, and you can just grab these payloads. It's the same pillars you can find here, but here you can just also adjust them very quickly. And you can grab them and use them or study them or create similar things because basically if you follow this methodology, which is kind of stupid, but it, it did well against antiviruses, I mean bypassing them, uh, you can create variations and maybe the listener can cut them and uh, it can be useful for a penetration tester uh, to evade stuff, let's say stuff like that sometimes it's definitely an option i myself is not my first like uh option something that i choose that i go with like uh, when i want to get a reversal i never use this uh, as my first option but when i am dealing with tricky stuff and i want to do tricky stuff it's definitely something i i have tried and in the past it worked very well and this is why at some point i published it and i'm kind of exploring this idea which uh it's kind of, like, kind of like a blueprint, you can definitely create this uh, weird hoax, like uh, pseudo cells with other, uh, abusing other protocols, other executables maybe, because for example, and let's go to the, to the source here, this is, uh, this new version, let's say, of Hoxel comes with also some refreshed templates, most of them are detected, but there is this Windows uh, CMD based uh, uh, payload, you can see it right here, which I think it's quite uncommon, you will not easily find uh, a Windows CMD based payload that will give you a reverse cell, something like a one-liner, like, like this, even if it's a pseudo cell, because of course this is a pseudo cell, it utilizes a CURL which needs to be obviously installed on the system, which is for older versions of Windows it could be a problem, I think it was in 2018, like uh, the versions of Windows 10 and above that came after well, between and after 2018 have CURL pre-installed pre so in modern systems you will definitely be able to use this but I'm not sure about older versions, older versions of Windows so let's see how this works I also created this listener you can uh, you, you need to use the Hoxel listener you can you, you need to choose it from here uh, it will not work with any other listener because the, the listener is doing half of the work definitely or maybe even more and just to make it a little bit more convenient for you to not really have to download uh, the project or something, I created this one liner. You can just, uh, but let me adjust my IP here. So let's run it and see what's going to happen. I created this uh, listener that you can just uh, invoke it from directly from the main repository. It, you might need to install some modules, uh, but 
if you install them then you can just invoke it so let's do this I'm just gonna run it and it's gonna start listening and now I'm gonna grab this payload which right now it's not detected and I'm going to sorry for showing this I'm going to just paste it here and let's see it being executed let's see what's gonna happen so we got this sudo cell I'm gonna run a few commands just to see what's the feeling here and uh, it does support also error for example you will see errors also which is uh, something that uh, not fully functional pty's do it's not something that they do uh, this one does it but it should not fool you this is not a fully functional pty this is a very weird cell <laughs> and uh, it will definitely break if you do something to start an interactive session within it for example this command uh let's say echo la 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 this command will run appropriately and return because this is what uh, this uh, option is doing it's starting the power cell process it's grabbing this command executing it and returning but if i do just power cell which would start what would happen if i run this in a command line uh, cell it will just start power cell within it uh, and this would break your cell as it would break for example a cell based on netcat if you had i mean the, the common ones like for example the ones you can see here they would also break unfortunately uh, if you had the netcat listener and invoked one of these cells you would not be able to just start a power cell if it was cmd to start power cell or even start power cell if it was power cell for example start a new process it would definitely break and this is the case here too but you can see what uh, what happened and i'm just gonna show you that my antivirus is on and my signatures i'm pretty sure were updated today i turned this off because i know it's gonna get burned this payload everything that is open source and publicly accessible and will be used by many people will eventually be caught up and this is a good thing of course um, but i turned it off right now okay let's not burn it immediately let's play with it for like one or two weeks and then we'll see what's gonna happen so here's a little bit of context about Hoxel, how it works, how I came up with this idea, what is it doing. If you have it in your toolset and you're using the payloads related to this uh, this tool, let's say it's generated by it, or now you can just grab them from RevSource.com. Uh, it's kind of noisy, you should know what it's uh, doing. So here's the idea I had back then. I wanted to create a PowerShell payload that would give me some kind of control over a system, not uh, necessarily something like a reversal or a pseudo reversal as it turned out to be but uh, anything of that sort and my initial idea was to create an http listener based payload and uh, here's an example for uh, this this script block will create an http listener uh, on the local host uh, on, on this port for example and it will listen for requests and uh, what I failed with this plan initially because I wanted to just set this listener on the victim machine and then I could for example if we assume this is the attacker machine and this is the victim if I can run this and start the listener here an HTTP listener I could then program it to also execute whatever URLs I look for example if uh, whatever interface let's say it's, it's running on this port it would execute whatever I I bring as an I request with a get HTTP request, for example, hello, I don't know, let's say, dear, uh, <laughs> die, yes, it would just die, dear, for example, whatever command I would put here, it would just run it, and the response, of course, would be the output of that command. But uh, there is a problem about this. I'm gonna run this, and it's gonna run fine, but uh, a, a normal user like, um, not a user that is privileged or a service that is running a system or something like that will not be able to to start this uh, listener on every interface listening on every interface right because this is what we want we don't want it to just listen to, to the local host this is useless from an attacking perspective so this was out of the question like we can't do this we can't set an http listener like this on the target machine so i asked myself okay what is the closest thing 
And let me actually show you what's gonna happen if I edit this. This is the script we just ran. I'm gonna just if I put an asterisk here or plus. I think it will start uh, on listening on every interface, but it will not run. It will say access denied. And my system is in the administrator's group. Of course, this is not running in the con context of the administrator uh, user, but still it's not going to work. So it's not useful to me, to what I wanted to do. So I said to myself, okay, what is the closest thing like uh, equivalent to a listener? Can you create something like a listener without creating a listener? So here's the thing. I said, hey, Maybe I can start a server, an HTTP server on my machine. Let's say it is any interface, port, 8080, whatever, it doesn't matter. And this is what Hoxel is actually doing. And, and I said, okay, I can host a command. For example, let's say I want to execute uh, who am I all on the target machine. So you get prompt to have this feeling like uh, this experience that you're running an actual cell. And uh, you're, you're typing your command, and your command is hosted for just one time. I mean, only one GET request can be done to this uh, path, let's say, because it won't exist after that. And the payload is basically getting the victim in an endless loop to request, uh, HTTP request, commands from the attacker. And here's what makes it look like a feel like a listener or act like a listener. If you spam this request, if you if I ask for every one second, if I make the victim ask every one second, hey, do you have any command for me? Get any command for me? Any command for me? So I would have the feeling, the user, that I'm actually running a cell because it's really short this delay between command and response because basically the payload puts the victim in this infinite loop. It grabs the commands issued executes and with the post request it posts back the result to, to the attacker and this is something that can run in any user's context because it's just an HTTP request and every user can perform an HTTP request it's the most common protocol used on the internet on computing whatever nowadays you understand that our browsers work with it and many other applications and systems utilize it to perform many uh, actions so this kind of gives uh a fake listener wanna be status to this machine it's like it's listening for me for commands of course it creates a very heavy traffic because it's sending commands all the time uh, it's sending requests all the time it's spamming requests hey you have a command give me a command give me a command you know and you just type it and it's this is what is happening behind the scenes of course it is noisy and this is something that we don't want in uh pen testing and everything red teaming and stuff like that we we try to be silent i think the motto of kali linux is uh, the sil uh, the quieter you become the more you are able to hear and it's perfect for a hacker and everything but uh, also something that is cool about this uh, if we had the pros and cons i would say one of the pros is that it can run in the context of any user one of the cons is it creates a lot of traffic but it also it's http traffic it's kind of uh, you know it's very common and um, it would be hard for a, a blue teamer to he would have to look really carefully to understand what is happening because it's harmless also hoxel has the ability because it has this custom http server that you can also start with https if you provide certificate and private key files which can be the certificate and private key of a trusted uh, of a certificate uh, issued by a trusted authority and this is very easy to do with for example um, let's encrypt this is one way you can you can just have a domain there are ways to get the domain for free you don't even have to pay anymore and you can register certificates in a matter of 10 minutes and you can start it with a trusted certificate and then it would be even harder for someone to, to detect this abnormal activity and another pro is that uh, this type of pseudo cell will also run uh, even if uh, the victim machine is set to run on power cell constrained language mode, which is really cool because uh, that would be a very difficult uh, obstacle to bypass. And long story short, this is what I was trying to describe all this time in one picture. Let's say this is the attacker, it's using Hoxel. Uh, this is the command prompt of Hoxel. You type a command. Your command is hosted by your system in an HTTP server that is running in the background, let's say. And uh, from the other side, we have the poisoned machine that is into this endless loop to 
ask for commands hey give me a command give me a command all the time and uh, creates this illusion of uh, having a listener set on it as as would a proper let's say socket based uh, uh, payload would do right it would open a socket the, the socket would be listening it was it would it would not be spamming a request like hey do you have any command from me but it would be listening and this spamming is i don't know some something equivalent in a very inelegant way to do the same and uh, if there is a command if the attacker has typed a command then the command would be executed and the output would also be sent uh, by http back to the attacker machine and printed in the command prompt let's say output so it gives you this idea this impression that you are running a cell of course you could you could uh, make this um, delay much longer and then you would uh, reduce the traffic and the detectability of course and it would be kind of uh, a, a more like a backdoor then because it would be kind of you know there would be a, a longer delay for example if you set it in one minute uh, you would only have one HTTP request going every one minute and one for the output if you type the command but uh, yeah it would be much slower but less detectable of course and it would act better like a backdoor or something so if you liked all this which was really weird and uh, I'm not sure I explained it well but I did my best uh, maybe you can subscribe like and uh, follow on github or something and you know maybe I can keep it coming or something thanks for watching